Hey guys, welcome back to more Fallout 4. Hopefully you're all doing very well. We are back. We're currently finally in uh, Diamond City. It took a while, but we got there. Beautiful weather, as you can see. A nice, lovely, non-rad thunderstorm. And I think what we're doing at the moment is we're going to go have a little chat with Piper. Or we could go to Valentine's Detective Agency. And given that we... We did meet him first, uh, didn't we? I think we go to him. Yeah, let's go to him. Still got a hell of a lot to do though as well, but mostly we'll be doing this, if anything, just to level up. So we can go do the more difficult stuff like uh, taking out Fenwheel Hall. A ton of super mutants down there, which will currently kick my ass. I think the Lost Patrol as well also has to do with super mutants, so really for the time being, super mutants are my bane. But yeah, we'll make our way down to good old uh, Valentine, and while we do that, if you haven't already, be sure to hit the like and sub button. It'd mean a lot to me if you can do that. We also have a Ko-Fi. If you ever fancy throwing a few euro my way, you absolutely can. Thank you. There's going to be plenty of people that we can uh, talk to and that we can uh, buy from as well, so we'll see what we can do in that regard. I do have a lot of cash on me, but I also have a lot of junk that I want to uh, get rid of, and this is going to be my first uh, port of call. Hi. Hey, hey. You're the new guy, right? I am. That I am. The new guy? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, don't stop. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll definitely have a little uh, chitty chat. God, the uh, storm is so loud, though. Let's see what you have. Let's see what you've got. Self defense at its best. Okay, so this is what I have. This is what he has. No, other way around. Uh, let's see. What can we. Uh, Wonder what we can stand to get rid of. We're gonna get rid of pretty much anything that's uh, pipe. You know, anything kind of crap. Uh, the MP43 Grok pistol, I think we're keeping. In fact, what's that chamber did? 10 mil? Yeah, that's my new 10 millimeters. So if we have like a few more kind of uh, base uh, 10 millimeter weapons, they can probably go. Quite frankly, the minigun. I might get rid of that, but I think I'd be more willing to give it away uh, to somebody at Sanctuary first. All these are obviously going to keep... Oh, actually, all these um, power armor pieces can definitely go. I'm not uh, screwing with power armor this episode, uh, this uh, playthrough, really, so... Yeah, we have no need for that. Uh, Grace Scarf. Uh, yeah, go on. How's that putting me? That's putting me in a very good position overall. Got the Institute Pistol, not really using that. We have Righteous Authority and even the Laser Musket for our energy uh, weaponry, so I think the Institute Pistol can go. The PKM is going to be incredible once we actually have a good amount of ammo for that. A light machine gun chambered in 308 is going to have insane damage output, so we keep that. Uh, we got a couple of M1911s. We'll get rid of uh, this one and uh, that one. Uh, let's see what else can we stand to get rid of. Last sword. We have the bat. Don't need that. That can go. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, the mollies. Uh, pretty much all the explosives we keep for obvious reasons. Uh, the spaz 12. We are going to look to develop that. So who knows? We could end up maybe getting rid of the Remington. What is that? Is that 12 less damage? Yeah, but then again, semi-automatic. It's going to make up for it with sheer uh, firepower output, or output even. Rate of fire, that's the word I'm looking for. The U, uh, what's that, the UZK-50GI. It does look very pretty, though. Uh, it's chambered in 45. That's going to make me through 45 incredibly quick. Same with the 38. We'll keep them, but I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to get rid of both. Chambered in 38 as well, biohazard automatic. Okay, this one does an additional damage type over this one, so maybe the SR2 goes and we'll keep biohazard. The AK-74 is going to be a gun that I'm going to enjoy a lot once we get enough 556 ammo. Same with the bad animator, once we have enough 308 ammo, I can absolutely wreck people with this thing. The M14 is also chambered in 308, but that can also go. And is that it? I'm happy with that. Yeah, okay, what else do you have in the way of maybe ammunition? Let's see, I might need like an ass load of 308. 279 caps for 31 rounds, oh my god. I'll buy 20. There you go. Um, what else do we need? 556, five, I'll buy a mag. Now, I think we increased uh, the mag cap up to 60 rounds, I believe. 350, 60 caps, so you are joking. You are joking me. All in all, though, 
that I'm gonna be dead anti bear. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, fine. Cool. Accept. Yeah, go on then. God damn it. You're on a hard bargain, but nah. I'm just happy that we actually have a mag. So yeah, it should be in the uh, secondary mag as well. Perfect. I think actually that gives me much uh, quicker reloads. So, you know, cool. Right then, Valentine. Uh, actually, is there anything else I can maybe buy? I think we're good on food. We're very good on food. We're very good on uh, health and general drugs. In fact, drugs I kind of want to offload. Okay, you're not even talking. But oh, cool, cool. Strong silent type. We'll go with that, Solomon. Alright, uh, we'll take a look. Let's see what you've got. Yeah. Oh, only the most balanced. Uh, I guess what we have. Uh, let's see, all the jet can get the hell out. The bad jet. Uh, yeah, ex yeah, the bad jet, yeah. I think we'll keep the psycho jet because I want to see what happens if we give that to Mama Murphy. That might push her over the edge. At Psycho, we get rid of the Abomination, we get rid of the Buff Out. Yeah, great, but you know, it's addictions I'm not really uh, looking for here. Okay, we'll keep one Psycho Jet. The uh, Mentats can go, the Addictal can go. Disease Cure, Cure we keep for obvious reasons. Get rid of some of the Radex, maybe like six. Get rid of five. And we'll keep the Stealth Boy. Wonderful. Doesn't that net us quite a tidy profit? My god, being a drug runner does indeed uh, pay. Now then, I think we've done all I wanted to do there, so... Valentine should be around here. Hang on. For baseball, is that you talking, drunk? God damn, yes I do. Dude, man, you level me up enough, I will take out 40 super mutants with a hunk of wood. So why do you need the uh, money so bad? Why do you need the money so bad? This job, I can offer quite a few, but I don't know, something about this one, you know? It's just, like, the bats, you know? Like, they're wood. I've always been, like, really, really interested in wood. I, mean, I got transistors, copper, oil. No, I even got a little bit of gold. Don't tell shit about that. Nah, man, you uh, mispronounced aluminium, so that's uh, not gonna happen. I will not do business with a man who does not know how to say words correctly. Now then, let's go have a little chat with Valentine. Oh, I'm gonna fight back, don't worry, buddy. Alright, here we are. And then I assume we'll be dealing with the whole Kellogg situation. Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. It's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Ah, no, no problem. Very happy to do it. Now, can we uh, get going? I need to find my kid. Can we get started on my case? Oh, of course. There's just a small clerical thing we need to clear up. I don't know how you found him, but you deserve the reward. Yes. Here, from a rainy day fund. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, make sure to use a new partner. One case at a time. A new friend needs our help first. Alright, let's get down to business. Take a seat. So Ooh, God, that SFX is super loud. Let's see, can I turn it down real quick? Uh, audio. Oh, no, that's not what I want. 
Settings, audio not display. Yeah, I think we'll turn that down probably to about half. Thunder as well. Thunder is really overpowering the overall, uh, yeah, the overall uh, vibe of the game, especially the dialogue. That should help. And maybe the man, now we need the master. Maybe the ambiance can go down to about half as well. Reverb, down to about half. That should help. If not, I'll put it down lower. That makes a viable difference. All right then, Nick. Nick. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Don't mind if I have my light on. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Well, shall we start from the top? I think we shall. My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and the baby needs a lot of it. That confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course there's the Institute. Well, we know we know who they are. We've killed plenty of them. But it might be good to get a refresher on that one. Who are the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think raiders might have done this? I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. Yeah, I agree. We even got a glimpse of them uh, being human. So, definitely rules out them. But what about the Institute? Could it be them? So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. Got it prototype anyway. Which actually uh, reminds me, speaking of since I do want to do a playthrough of Detroit Become Human. That is a phenomenal game, and I would love to play that one again. That makes you a prototype, which is also a great game. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Can I give off the vibe of maybe a working Joe from Alien Isolation, maybe? You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Oh! Okay, I'm not going to accuse him of lying. The whole failsafe uh, theory seems to be credible, so we need, to, we need to go find the boy. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Now, let's see. Yeah, we'll start with that one. I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The woman was dressed in, um, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. 
Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? The man who killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. But that sound. It could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? No, oh, we know exactly who it is. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Oh. Well, I don't believe I did. <laughs> and where the diary keys are hidden. No, no, we're not a sarcastic twat today. I might have. Everything was foggy. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him. Didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Oh, 10 years old. Hmm. So he's still in town then, huh? You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two? Should still be careful. I always am. So yeah, right outside there should be a few super mutants here and there. We should be more than ready for that. We got the AKM. We're gonna be absolutely fine. Right. Am I following you or are you following me? You have the icon over your head. I assume I'm following you. Oh for God's sake. Alright, time to go. Uh, let's see. Uh, this way, Diamond City. Yep. Come on, off you go. I suppose I was in his way, my bad. <laughs> oh, you got a lot of Bethesda AI. Which, uh, given that I haven't played uh, Starfield yet, I really hope they improved upon that in uh, the game. I really hope they did. Oh, wonderful. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean... Thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later. Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Hmm. Which kind of begs the question, why did he leave me alive in the first place? Because you were leaving a major loose end available to uh, come back and bite you in the ass uh, later. So, hell of a thing to have happen. This is where he lived. Kellogg's house. I assume you have the master key, no? Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. Ah, doesn't seem to be any uh, security issues um, here. Say security doesn't come to this uh, part of town? Seems quiet enough, bit of a gathering over there. Got a guy down there. Security, yeah? Uh, nah, we'll probably be fine. Well, what's uh. No way I could pick this. What's uh, the issue, buddy? Said there's no way you can pick it? Damn. Guess we need to find the key. Platform in the distance, near the city entrance. That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Then we have like no uh, window that we can get through as well. The man was, well, very cautious. All right, let's go. We'll make our way over to the uh, to the elevator. Let's see what the mayor has to say about this. A mayor who I believe will probably be deposing. Somebody yelling out for help there. Could have sworn I heard, uh, wait, please. No? Anything going on? I'm human. Oh, Riley. I knew I heard something. Oh, here we go. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I 
swear I'm not a sin. Don't shoot, for Holy God's sakes, we're no. family. What's going on? Put the gun down now. He's a sin. He'll kill us all. Oh, shiss. Oh. <laughs> okay, show's over. There are no sins in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. Who fires? Was it you? Is that a shotgun? Did you do that with a goddamn pistol that blew his head off? What kind of uh, pistol was he packing? Scrap handgun. Are you fucking kidding? I went through that entire building to get a scrap handgun. And you had one already. I, what? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is so important about this type of weapon? Oh my god, man. Uh, blows my mind just like it blew his mind anyway. I'm just going to do a little bit of light uh, thievery. Hope you don't mind, Riley. Anyway, Riley, let's you and me have a little uh, chitty chat. Hey. He pulled a gun on me. It's my own brother. Yeah. Well, he would have killed you, though, but do tell me what happened. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Hmm. Maybe it was you who fired the shot. What the hell do you have? I can... I don't know. What are those rounds called? Dum-dums? Yeah. It's like one of the ways you can make a head go bye-bye. Uh, Excuse me. My god. God. My god. Right. Well, show is indeed over. Everyone's going back to their homes. What about the uh, guy who pulled the trigger? What about you? Hey, officer. I need you to step away, Scather. Oh, cool, 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 cool. That's definitely, uh... <laughs> that's definitely a good way to address me, you know? Is there a problem? Is there a problem, officer? Oh, don't even start with me. I got a dead body in the middle of the damn street. Now follow orders and get out of here. Oh, very mean. What else can we uh, talk about? You and me, buddy. Officer. Move along. Oh, move along. Fine. I'm gonna go up to the uh, to the mayor's office now. Maybe do a bit of thievery, a bit of pickpocketing. We'll 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 see what happens. Oh, free for anyone to use apparently. Papang, papoo. Nah, probably a bit too dark. Right then. Let's see, anyone in? Huh? Hello, Piper. Are our two quests about to intersect? Ooh, don't call her honey. Piper, she isn't blonde. Oh, let's have a little chat. I'm, I'm tracking down a man, but what are you doing here? Your job. What are you doing here, Piper? Nah, -uh. not until it's in print. You can read all about it in the next issue. God damn it! Our speech is not high enough. In the reception area, Miss Piper. The mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. No, 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 Piper. You and me can have a chat. Hey, Piper. Good luck with McDonough. Just uh, watch yourself around him, okay? Okay, fine. McDonough? Oh, hang on. What kind of thievery can can we get away with here? I'm kind of hoping that we maybe somehow find ammunition, given that I have that perk, but I could be so lucky, huh? I don't know. I found uh, crisps. The right way to say it, by the way. America. You know, get that right. Chips? <laughs> don't make me laugh. Absolutely not. Anyway, uh, we should be okay to leave that. There we go. I really hope this game isn't like Skyrim, where the guards are essentially tele uh, telepathic and can tell what I've stolen. Surely not. Any, uh, ooh, hello. The mayor's safe. I can't get that open. But I can get through the terminal. This should be doable. Let's go have a look. Have a little look. A little look-see. We'll blame the secretary. She should never have left me alone in here. Right, so. Hires. No. 
What goes with the mayor? Well, he is a bit of a Bruce. No. Uh, he has a big house. Fourth, fourth wish. Uh, fourth uh, with, even. Which. Raids. Beats. Beats people. Shit. Okay, we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Trades reset. Well, that's good. Got lucky there. Uh, let's see. We'll try and get rid of a good few... Um, a few duds now. Uh, let's see what we can find. This one here? No, not that one. What about this one? Nope, not that. I already got that one. Okay, we got one here. Dead removed. Beautiful. Got that one down there. Gun. Of course, I don't want to start picking randomly. Uh, probably until... Yeah, probably not until we've exhausted our uh, dodge removals here. There we go, another one. Beautiful. Okay, we've actually gotten rid of quite a lot. So our chances of getting this red should be quite high. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The only problem is it's getting rid of ones that I already knew were duds, which is kind of a waste. Where'd you get that one, yeah? Damn, I'm not seeing any more here. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go, got a big one. Ain't at the bottom, maybe. Right. Well, we're gonna need to commit, I think. See what we can do, because I really want to get into that safe, and I'm certain this terminal is gonna control that. Alright. What about Crane? Do we try Crane? Likeness of Nurse. Crap. Um, giant, maybe? No? God damn it. Uh, loves? Oh my god. I have to, like, tap and exit. I'm so bad at these. I really am. I'm really, 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 really bad at these. Okay, we're trying to get lucky. Uh, let's see. Meats. Sweet. How am I that good? Explain it to me. How am I that good? You know how I'm that good? I, I just am. I am just that good. Now then, appointments. You know, I surprise even myself. City council meetings are suspended for the meantime until there is an emergency. The council expresses full confidence in the mayor's ability to handle all city business. Ah, Piper. She continues to press on this institute crusade of hers. There will be consequences. Oh dear. Is good old Mayor McDonough a filthy collaborator? We do not like collaborators. No, 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 no. Not at all. Right then, the safe control. Disengage that there lock. Very good. Okay, what else do we have here? No oh, foreclosure. No to Geneva. That's probably going to be Kellogg. Ah, copy of the house keys in the safe. Oh, water purifier. They don't believe uh, Shen Kowalski is up to the task. Nonsense, I say. Boy may be young, but free enterprise is an important part of our Diamond City way of life. Hmm. Security office. Need to remind all new security officers to delay any investigations into kidnapping. Oh dear, we don't need uh, to rise further hysteria into the ridiculous notion that since they're replacing our citizenry. Isn't that kind of what they do, though? Oh, what about the power noodles, uh, stand? And the mayor's office will not be responding to any notion that he is in need of repairs. While we understand that not everyone understands him as well as a born and bred Diamond City resident, we cannot allow such an iconic figure of our great city to be altered with in any way. I assume that's the Protectron. Oh, we got that open. That's good news. Hey then. Oh ho 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 ho! Rounds! I do love that! Oh, gimme gimme gimme. And we'll break into the desk as well because fuck him. Sweet. Empty! I've been had. I have been had. Ooh, Nuka Cola. Okay, do we have a little chitty chat with the mayor now? I think we do, but not yet. We're gonna put a cut in here, and when we get back, I like your gun. 
When we come back, we'll have a little chitty chat with Mayor McDonough and hear his side of things. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. Can't wait to play a hell of a lot more, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>